Okay, now I think uh, the, re the recording is uh, started. We can start our tutorial. So <clears throat> today we are going to see how to prepare a big document. And uh, for that reason, we will see first of all what the document means. We see some key element of the document and the main part will be how to write it. And we will end this tutorial by some question and answer. So that will be the, the plan of today's tutorial. So without further ado, let's see what the document means. So for that, I will ask you guys if somebody can tell me what the document means for him or for her. Any volunteer? Or maybe, okay, therapy, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Maybe just to break the silence. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> According to my understanding, the bill document is a kind of document which is prepared by the suppliers or by the service uh, providers so that they can compete and if they get the chance or if they win based on the criteria which was already already required by the uh, the companies that already posted the tender and based on the POR of the company, uh, if they uh, provide this document that may contain the, the quantity, also the bill of the, 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 the project or a kind of activity or service and or the quantity and the price of the goods that they are going to provide for the company and so on. So, uh, that makes them to be competent and to get the chance to uh, do the uh, work along with the company. So uh, for me, that's the document that is submitted by the suppliers or the service providers. Thank you. Over to you. Okay, thank you for your point. And let us hear about Bernard. Okay, thank you. Just to add a little to what uh, my brother just said, um, there are application materials that uh, we prepare and submit in response to maybe request for quotations or an expression of interest uh, in a job or, or maybe in a contract or in a services that requires uh, uh, supply of maybe items or, or maybe goods or services. All right, amazing. Thank you guys for giving your point of view on what a big document means for you. Thank you. So now let us see quickly um, in, in brief where what a big document means. So as you guys know, in our week challenge, we we are part of we are project manager for protect and there is a tender and we want to we want to take this opportunity to showcase our capability our experience our our way to do things to win that tender so for that reason first of all we have a, we have a receiver a letter an invitation letter and uh, that also is called a request for proposal. So to be able to respond to that invitation, we'll provide a document and that document is called bill document. So the first point for a bill document, it is a formal document submitted in response to a request for proposal or an invitation letter. So that document, outlines a company's capability, experience, and proposed solution to a specific project or contract. 
and is not over. In that document, you will find the scope of work, the timelines, the costs, and terms and the conditions. So this is also the document that the client will use to select the best contract, uh, the, the best contractor or consultant for a particular project. So in for instance, in our case, uh, this is the document we need to submit uh, to make sure that among the competitors will be the one that the client will select so that we can perform that project and win what we need to win. So, so briefly, this is what the document means. And now, after we know what the document means, you're going to see some key points of the document. But the time being, let me ask if it is clear for everyone. Okay, all right. So basically, guys, uh, the document it is a formal document that we submit for a request for a proposal, and that outline out loud the the capability, the experience of our, our company to solve a given project problem. So that that that's what we can say briefly about it document and i think everybody can give that definition from now so let us see what the what are the key components of the document so um first of all for let me put it in the the full screen so that everyone can see that properly it will take some time to load okay good all right so the first thing is is uh, the client's con con contact information. We want in the big document to put the client contacts. This for what? We need to ensure that the, con the contractor knows exactly who the proposal is addressed to. So for that reason, we provide the name, the address, the phone number, and the emails of the client. Now, after this, we provide also the contractor's contact information. So in this, we provide also the name of the phone, the email address of the contractor. And this it is to, to let the client know that who is submitting the bid and how to reach them. So those two key elements are there to make sure that there is a communication between the client and the contractor. And the client especially should know, should know that, yes, yeah, this is the person who is providing the big document. Then after providing the contact information, we need to provide in the bid document the job name. We need to provide a clear title related to the project. And this is, it is to identify and to ensure that the bid is directly related to the correct proposal. Because if you don't provide a good title for your project, the client may, may my my say okay this organization of this individual doesn't understand the our project so we 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 won't gonna take this person to work with us that's why it is very important to provide a good job name apart from the good apart from the job name you need to provide also the purpose of the proposal and the project in this case we need to provide uh, the, a brief explanation of the goals and the objective of the proposal and the overall. In this case, what we need to, to highlight is the why the project is being undertaken and what the client aims to achieve. So it's up to us to underline, to make sure that we put in that in the B document 
the reason why the we start the, the we start you want to start the project and uh, what the client want to achieve that we we have understood that one that critical point and those things will help uh, to to raise the likelihood to be selected and moreover we will also need to provide the project plan and the project plan here is nothing less than the project phases the timelines and the milestones so when we have those key points we have highlighted those key points in our bid pro in our bid documents we will go for the service and product that we want to provide you so a detailed description of the services or products or product the contractor will provide if if, if awarded the bid so what are we going to provide as a service and product if we are awarded for the bid if we are selected for the bid so we need to give it detailed description to those kind of things that in our data code in our data document it is very important and also it will have to we need to include also the scope of work the specification and any relevant detail about what is being offered to meet the project requirement furthermore what we need to highlight also in our data document is the resource and staffing. So we need to describe the personnel, the equipment that will be allocated in the project. And one thing that is very important we need to mention is the pricing information. The pricing information in, at this stage, we need to itemize, we need to list the cost the total project cost, the payment terms, and the, any other financial details relevant to the deeds. So, when we have uh, put those key elements in the bid, is not enough. We need to add also additional term and condition of the agreement. That one is very important because when maybe you are applying to the agreement and uh, you, are, you, are, you are doing your project and there is a, some conflict or maybe you didn't uh, meet the deadline, what should be the, the warranties? What should be the liabilities, payment schedule? You need to mention those things on your bid document. And that, that will ensure that both parties are aware and they agree to the term under which the project will be carried out. So we, you guys need to be in the same alignment. You have, you need to have an agreement on which we, we need to work. So if there's no agreement, I don't think that, uh, the, it might be any, a, a part, a, a, a part, uh, who, who will say, uh, that would say, okay, I'm not going to respect properly what is that. What is said to to do, and nothing may would happen to me. But if there is a, a term and a condition of agreement, if you didn't meet the requirement, I mean, you didn't meet the what you have been said, then it, it knows that okay, something gonna happen. So, addition term and condition are very important, and we need to uh, estimate the project timeline. We need to outline the projected timelines of our project. We need to include the start and the end dates, the milestones, uh, the deadline for deli deliverable, and that will help the client to understand the frame time within which the contractor expects to complete the project. So this will give to the client a big picture of what we as a contractor or consultant we are able to do to achieve their projects so 
from our challenge document, those bullet points are the key components that we, we're going to put in our bid document. So the first one is the executive summary, where we need to provide an overview of a project solution. Because as I was saying at the beginning, uh, in our scenario, we are a manager in a project solution. And we want to make sure that we will provide a good big document to, to win the, the change. So we need to focus on our expertise and how it meets the project needs. For the project plan, we need to we need to mention the project phases, the timelines and the milestones. We need also to mention in our D documents the methodology and approach to describe the technical approach, the methodology and the technology that we, we that will be used in while starting the the project if you are elected. So we need also to to mention our team qualification. How what what I uh, what is showing that uh, we have uh, a good team qualification for that project. We need to uh, highlight that also our expertise, our previous experience uh, that is that, that are very relevant to the project because when you you have a previous project that are relevant to the project, it gives enough confidence to the client to the client to say, okay, they have done something like that in the past. So they are they will be able to do something like that for us also. So and for the previous experience, you need to have a specific part in our B document where we showcase that some of the some of the example of our previous project that are relevant to the current one. We need also to identify potential risk and provide a mitigation strategies. And we need also to propose a financial proposal where we, we break down uh, the, the, the financial aspect of our, of our project, including the estimator for personal equipment and uh, other proje project expenses. So the, those are the key components, and key elements of our B document, especially for this project. I mean, I mean for this challenge. Okay. So um, let me see if there is any question for for the time being. Hello guys, is there any question? Okay. It means that we have understood uh, up to now what the key elements are and we can go for the main parts of our tutorial, which is how to make, how to prepare a video clip. So, Let's dive in. So some second, it is loading. Okay, well, all right. So how are you going to, to prepare a V document? The first thing we need to do is to understand the project requirements. And to be able to do that, first of all, we need to read carefully the invitation to, to the bids. I mean, the, the invitation letter we have received, we need to read that properly to understand what the clients, what is the, what, what are the clients' needs and the expectations. And also we need to, to read the other documents the, cl the client will uh, submit to us. And after that, uh, we need to Make sure that we, we know the specific requirements, we know the deadline and the evaluation criteria. So those will help us to really understand the requirement because 
we need because when the 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 more we understand the project the more we will provide a good big document that's why this step is very important okay and uh, the other thing we need to do in this uh, in this stage is if there is there are some additional information maybe we don't know we don't know it is it is up to us to ask the clients so that the client can give us more details more additional information so this is what we need to do for the first step the second step is to research the client we need to know what is the vision what is the purpose what is the past project the client has done in the past it will give us an idea to uh, an idea on what the current project look, will look like and by doing this we can go and research in the website of the client also to see more information and when we do that it will help us you know in our bid document writing to impress the client and to communicate to the client that we are the best for their project you see so that's why it is very important to research the client and after researching the client we need to evaluate the competition and to evaluate the competition what do we mean by that we need to because we are not the only one the client has sent an invitation letter so there are other organization or individual people who are competitors so we need to analyze our competitors and we need to identify our unique selling points so when we do that this one it will help us to also increase our likelihood to win the bid document because when we know what is our unique sell, selling point, we will highlight that in the, in the document. So that's why it is very important to know what they are, what other competitors, what are, what are the strengths and the weaknesses in order to be able to do this phase or this uh, step very well. And the other thing we need to do is to consider offering an additional good our service this thing this stage also is this is, the, is uh, in the same alignment with the evaluating the competition because after evaluating the competition maybe we realize that our competitor we not uh, didn't want to um, to offer an additional good or service and uh, you will say okay because they are now going to do that we we can do that and we can do that also for free of charge. This just to increase the likelihood to be selected because don't forget that we are in competition. We are in competition and the best, the best bit document will be selected. So that is why we need to take account those kind of things. So after those steps, what we can do again, we need to include the, rele the relevant information so here we need to to provide a sample of our, a sample of our company works and uh, we need to also provide a, testi a testimony from a satisfied customer to to demonstrate that our company is the one qualified to effectively and efficiently complete the project and when we have done those things, we need to proofread our big document. It's very important. We need to make sure that we sound professional, that there is no grammatical mistake, that uh, the spelling of uh, formatting is correct. We need to do that to sound very professional. It's very important to proofread. And we need also you need to make sure that you respect the guidelines in the request for proposal or invitation letter. And that we meet also 
the deadline. You don't want to submit after the deadline because it will give it a bad image of us to the client. So those are the steps you're going to follow to write very well a big document. So this is the end of that tutorial. And uh, I'll be glad to receive from you questions if there is one or many. So the floor is yours, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me? Uh, maybe I'm speaking alone here. <laughs> okay, show me some reaction, guys. <laughs> okay, is everything clear for you? Okay, good. Uh, uh, hello. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Sadek. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Collins. How are you? Okay. I'm, I'm doing great, thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, thank you for the presentation. It's really nice. But uh, I want to know uh, how do we, maybe you can throw more light on how we can actually use uh, AI for this. I think that's part of the idea. To make it quicker. So maybe I need to get a more maybe light on how to use the AI for for it. Okay, imagine as a question. Thank you for raising that point. Yeah. Uh, for the use of AI to to provide or to write a big document for this for this challenge we have provided to you a given prompt for each uh, key element, okay? So you're gonna use those prompts because you guys know, uh, you guys know how to use AI. So it's not today, uh, I don't know. Maybe if there is anyone who doesn't know how to use AI, he can raise his hand. But I assume that you guys know how to use AI and we have already provided a, a prompt for, a, for each key elements in the big document, we have provided a prompt. So you're gonna use those prompts to, to generate uh, the, the appropriate draft of that key element. And now you will need to put all of them together to write now uh, your big document. So this is how you're gonna do. You have already a prompt in the challenge document. Did I answer your question, Mr. Collins? Okay, all right. Okay, uh, is there another question? Uh, okay, Wendy, did you just join now? Or? Okay, therapy, yeah, you have the floor. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for your uh, nice presentation. Really, it was uh, very good and helpful. I really appreciate it. Uh, maybe for the moment, I don't have a question, but as usual, I would like to remind you that when I see the, the weekly document, I couldn't find this uh, slide. So if you can share with us, it, I think it will be also good. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Uh, so you want me to share this slide with you because it's it is not present in the challenge uh, folder. Yeah, yeah, it's not present there. Okay, okay, I will, I will. At the end of this tutorial, yeah, I will share that with you guys. Thank you for reminding that to us. I really appreciate your contribution. Each each of your contributions are very welcome. <laughs> <It's>, uh, therapy. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, I'm still waiting for for you if there is a other contribution or questions. So if there's 
any, we can wrap up the session. And before that, you need to show me some reactions so that I, I, I make sure that there's no question anymore. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. And by the same time, uh, I wish to, uh, to Pian, my friends, uh, my colleagues, uh, a new happy year. Uh, happy new year. I think it will be tomorrow. And I didn't know that before. I think it was yesterday I, I felt about it. And I wish you all the best. Enjoy that moment. And I wish I could be there with you too. <laughs> uh, I could.